So what I was just teaching Christy was we were trying to come up with an example of a function that is strictly positive such that the limit of x to the n plus 1 over x to the n is always greater than 1. The function we chose was x squared. Um, we chose x squared because when you take the limit of your n plus 1 term over your n term, it equals 1, even though those are strictly increasing. And sometimes it's hard to spot those easy examples. I've worked for the Math Learning Centers for four years now. Fell in love with the job. Honestly, I'd probably do it for free, but I don't really tell them that. Definitely just a chance to kind of let go of your own stress and just help other people. And one of the <laughs> frustrating things with math is that you get hung up on it for days at a time. Many of those kids think that they're naturally not good at math. There is no such thing as being naturally bad at math. There's no such thing. You can always change how well you can do in math. Math is just like any other subject. It just takes practice. It just takes studying. I find that that is more helpful to students than almost anything else we can offer. Because nine times out of 10, they're kind of almost holding themselves back. Everybody that walks through that door can do anything that anybody else in that room can do. It's just a matter of getting there. And it's always fun to see the light bulb moment. I ended up falling in love with it.